Welcome back. All this month, ABC Action News is taking action against domestic violence, and we're highlighting the heroes who are taking a stand against abuse. And tonight, anchor Jamison Euler shows us how a dog takes the stand, literally, and how they help to comfort children of abuse when they have to testify in court many times against their abuser. Brenda Coker will be the first to tell you. Tibet. Lap that her dog, Tibet, may just be the sweetest four-legged angel there is. And she's just got this amazing spirit. A spirit that shines in the hardest times when an adult has taken the spirit of a child in some of the worst abuse cases. She stares at them with those big brown doe eyes, you know, and, and she's just, you know, really makes them feel important. And they're not used to feeling them important. Domestic violence isn't always in the traditional sense of adult-on-adult -adult crime. Many times it involves innocent children. Physical or sexual abuse, and sometimes neglect by a parent, will bring them to the inside of a courtroom, surrounded by adults they don't know, and eventually here, isolated on a witness stand to testify against the person who was supposed to love and protect them. And that is where Tibet feels most at home, sitting at their feet or maybe putting her head in their small lap. I think what this does is it helps to level the playing field a little bit for those child victims so that they feel a little bit more comfort. You're, you're creating a zone of safety for that child. Ten years ago, this soft yellow-haired lab golden retriever mix was bred for these moments from canine companions. For the first two and a half years of Tibet's life, she was trained to become Florida's first courthouse facility dog. Almost eight years and hundreds of abuse victims later, Tibet has not only comforted and absorbed the unimaginable pain of so many children, she sometimes helps bring out the testimony the prosecution may need to convict an abuser. Brenda remembers one abuse case of a boy who was nonverbal. He, you know, was rocking and petting her, and he was able to give her enough information that they were able to make the decision to go forward with a prosecution. They have to have a threshold of, to be able to know if they can go forward with a prosecution. And, and so she was able to get that. And she afterwards said, I, I could not have gotten that without Tibet's help. And most recently in the Ronnie O'Neill trial, O'Neill accused of killing his girlfriend and daughter and then trying to kill his young son. As the lone survivor of that horrible night, the prosecution would need his testimony and there was Tibet by his side. Who's, who's there with you? Uh, her name is Tibet. And uh, have you kind of become uh, friends with Tibet over the last couple of years and got, gotten to know Tibet? Yes. Okay, you like having Tibet there with you today? Yes. Okay. It's very scary to, to go into court proceedings um, for a child. It's, it's very, very scary, but I get to see these dogs calm them and strengthen them and empower them to be able to tell their story. They really do miracles every single day, and to me, they're angels on earth. But sometimes even angels know it is time to fade off into the sunset. Now a little grayer and moving a little slower, Tibet will retire in the next few months. And that is where Lorne comes in. When he puts on this scarf and his collar, he knows that it's it's a work day, and he shines. At three and a half years old, the leash has been passed to Tibet's best friend, Lorne, and his handler, Dale Urquhart. As a full-bred golden retriever... His demeanor is always the same. He's always very sweet. ...who also came from the same courthouse facility dog program as Tibet and has been working alongside her for over a year. It's your fear as a mom to be able to watch somebody have to go through that but you know it's such an important story and it needs to be told and if I can have or if Lauren can have some sort of impact in enabling this child to be able to to speak that day um, I go I go home feeling so rewarded even though it's been a, it's a sad story so many sad stories that may have never been told if not for two dogs who just want to be something to a child that an adult could never be a safe, soft place where their innocence is restored. What do you think she's gonna do in retirement? <laughs> Sleep a lot, probably. <laughs> Tibet and Lauren are just one of a handful of courthouse facility dogs here in Florida. They have more extensive training than therapy dogs and that is why they are approved to work here. 
The dogs and their handlers are full-time employees of Voices for Children of Tampa Bay, who are also heroes in this story. Their program helps so many children who find themselves in abusive situations. I put a link to their program with this story at abcactionnews.com.